Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Originally, I was going to continue on a series that we had just started, but I still have some putting together of that to do. Came to the realization of this when Pink Fox came in to talk to me for a moment. Today, I'm just going to kind of go about um, some thoughts that kind of came across my mind in regards to uh, my day job. So, the store manager of where I work has been doing a lot recently. Like an overwhelming amount. Maybe the reason for this is just he didn't have like an assistant manager to fall back on. He was doing everything assistant managers would normally do, anything a secretary would do if those were a thing in this industry, but you get the point. Basically, all the paperwork. It, all the all the work ahead of time, all all the things assistants would do, everything like that, plus the stuff he has to do on his own. Compile all that, and it is a lot of work. It is an unnecessary amount of hours worth of work, and it does make me think sometimes. Like, it, it makes me wonder how would this have been approached. How how would have everything in between have been approached had there had been someone to fall back on the whole time? Now, this does seem kind of like a no-duh type of question, but life has so many twists and turns and tosses and ins and outs that you never really know what could happen. Now, this is just kind of where my thought process is on this. Losing an accomplice or losing someone who could be there to help balance out the weight can be a very big mishap sometimes. Sometimes it could just be what you need. In the case of what was going on, it was more of a mishap than not. But I think if I were in those shoes, it'd probably be more of what I need because it would help me focus more. I think that's what the difference is amongst many people is it just depends on the person and how they approach working. Where their work ethic stands. Um, now, if you were to ask me, if, if I were to answer the same kind of statement that I'm presenting towards myself about three or four years ago, then I'd probably be saying the reverse, and I'd be like, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. I'd run. <laughs> Today, I wouldn't. But I'm sure if you were wine far back enough, I would. I don't know. It's an interesting thing to think about, in my opinion. Without the assistance, without assistance of others, you could probably sometimes screw yourself over. Take construction work, for example. Construction on a house, it's not just a simple, you know, put wood up, nail them all together, put a flooring, put stuff in the walls, put the walls themselves. Like, I'm not, I'm being very vague here. I know the details, but I'm not going to go into that today. Um, there's also piping, plumbing, which has to be done by another group of individuals. Electricity, which has to be done by another group of individuals. So on and so forth. You can never really do a singular job as a one kind of group individual without assistance at all. It just doesn't work. No matter what the job, it's just not possible. Take a generic company, for example. CEOs. They can't run a company without at least financial aid. I.e. a CFO. And for those who don't know what that means, CEO being chief executive officer and chief financial officer for CFO. These exist for very, very specific reasons. Uh, you, st you would still wouldn't be able to because even if it's just the two, you would still have several details to go through. For example, marketing and or telemarketing. It, you would still have a lot of that to take care of. That's a third person. Probably a lot of them too because there's no way one person could do all of these things just at once and still have spare time to be able to take care of all the normal business stuff they'd have to do in the first place. And not just that. Say that the company being run is 
like an app development type company for phones. Well, you're definitely going to need several technicians to work side by side to make sure that things run fluently and you're going to need testers for those who are approaching the matter and trying out the things that have been done to simply find bugs. Or in the case of, let's say a restaurant business. First of all, you need someone to look out for all the different finances in the several locations that are presented once you get to that point. Or if you're at the start, yeah, just a few locations. Regardless, you have to have eyes on all of them. You have to be keep the bills paid for all of them Hence the financial individuals, whether it's accountants, CFO, um, something like that. You need to make sure that all your employees are looked after in a very health-friendly type of environment. And that every law in regards to any of these jobs is abided by. Not just that, you also have to look after any kind of consumer involved with your business. Take a hotel, for example. You get several consumers every single day, or for those who don't know what that, about that term, customers. It happens on a daily basis. You have to have eyes on a lot of different aspects to the point where it would be impossible to do anything without assistance when it comes to a job. Even if you're in the lower range of employment, for example, my, my job. There is no way in heaven high I'd be able to go through and make sure all the food that's made in the restaurant I work at is made, gets out, and prepared in a timely manner without the assistance of at least, when I think about it, like five other people. Believe it or not, because first of all, you always have to have some kind of backup to turn to. That's why there are usually two people prepping food at minimum, regardless of where. And then for people who order fried food, you need someone always in the fry, fry station, I guess is what it's called. You always need someone as a customer service representative, whether it's for lobbies or dining areas or for drive throughs you at least need one or two individuals for categories like that. But then you also need, like in the case of generic restaurants, bus boys or girls, bus girls, bus boys, either way. For those who don't know what that is, people who clean dishes and material, tools. And then you also need janitorial positions. That's already six right there. And that's to keep things running smoothly. Sometimes you need more. But without this assistance, the areas that would run it would be a wreck. And that's on the lower standard of things. That's not including managers that have to keep an eye on the ship to make sure this happens. That's not including, like, again, CEOs of the companies themselves or CFOs to keep track of the finances that are being presented. It's not including any of the bigger ends, just the smallest ends. When you include the bigger ends, like the example I gave at the very beginning of this video, you start to notice that no matter what position you're in and whatever job you have, assistance is always a good thing to have. For example, D9. If you want a more outward platform type of example, let's use D9 as one as Google decides to try to register my voice again. D9, as great of a person as how much he deserves what he has right now, over 20k subs I believe, which congratulations to him for that, um, he would not be at that point without the assistance of those who pushed him to get to that point. Like his parents and the several friends who support him, who live close by him, including myself. It's more of a supportive 
case on my end, and I'm not always at the streams that he does, but the support doesn't leave regardless. If you want a better, well-known example, if you don't know who I'm referring to, if you don't, first of all, go check his channel out. Uh, D9, D9 Beats, Danny Wilson, you can look up any of those three and you'll find him. If I remember, because of my brain power of forgetting things, but if I do remember, I'll have a link in the description as well. Markiplier might be a better well-known example of this. Markiplier has a team of six, seven individuals. And without any of these guys, he'd probably be struggling to get done what he's aiming to get done. He has a lore for his channel still running and still in the works and not just that but what about the stuff he originated with back when he was in college he was doing a lot of the editing on his own but it was simpler stuff it wasn't like have to get it done have to get it done have to get it done within like a timely manner and he could take as much time as he needed That's why I have the assistance I do. It's because I like to get it done in a very specific timely manner, and that timely manner is actually, in my mind, very short. Assistance in any kind of job and or career is a very, very, very big help. And it's something that can't just be overseen. Because if it's not looked upon and taken care of in a well-placed manner, it can screw a person over. It can cause major problems, sometimes mentally and or medically, sometimes physically. It really depends on the circumstance. However, one way or the other, my statement stands of assistance is a very big help. But these are my thoughts on the matter. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any other discussion or rant type videos that we've done prior to this? Click the link on the side of my head over here. Or, if that's not quite filling your button, you stuck to the end of this video. First of all, thank you. But second of all, click the link on the other side where you may be able to find something a bit more soothing. Or a bit more to your liking. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys in another. See you guys later.